Next question is from Dumbbell. Is there an ideal way to transition from a lot of high intensity workouts to more traditional resistance training? How can I avoid ga gaining a ton of fat while transitioning off of cardio or HIT? This is such a common fear yeah, that, that, oh, pe yeah. that people have. That's what and, keeps people from training this yeah, way. They just stay in the same uh, regime and, because of this. And it's actually, it's, it just it doesn't work this way. Like f you, even though you're burning less calories, right? if you're used to high intensity like HIT training and you're, you're supersetting a lot and you're doing all this volume and you're burning a lot of calories and then all of a sudden you switch to like a strength-based program, you it, even if your calories stayed the same, you're you are sending such a different signal to the body by mm -hmm. switching that that most all those additional calories will get partitioned to building muscle. That's You'll right. be just fine. That's right. It, and and most of what we fear is that is that you're not sweating as much. I don't feel like I'm burning as as, as many calories. Maybe you start to put on muscle, so you fill out your pants or you fill out your shirts a little more, so you think you're getting fat. But more than likely, it's one of the best things that you can do. And I love to take somebody that's been training this way and transition them to straight sets and strength training and not manipulating the calories at all. Yeah, this mm -hmm. this is such a big fear. It prevents a lot of people from training properly for their body. Women uh, are more susceptible to this fear, I think, because they're you know conditioned to, to be more afraid of gaining any yeah. weight or size. I remember years ago, I had a client, Jennifer, who... She was a fanatic. She did. She ran, I think she ran close to 20 miles uh, a week. Um, she, on top of that, did Pilates and cardio-based uh, you know, group classes. Then she lifted weights with circuit training. So she, was, she had always had a problem with weight, discovered fitness, and went the opposite direction, became obsessed. So when she came to hire me, she was working out like a maniac all the time, and her calories were like 18, 1,700 calories or 1,600 calories a day. And she's like, well, how do I get leaner? I can't work out anymore. I don't want to cut my calories anymore. And this is what I convinced her to do. I said, here's what we're going to do. We're going to move you towards building strength and building your metabolism. And it took me a while to convince her to do this. But the funny thing is when she finally did it, exactly what you explained happened, Adam. She gained some muscle. Her metabolism went through the roof. She got to the point where she lifted weights with me three days a week, maybe four days a week max. She went down to doing cardio two or three days a week, and it was like a walk. It wasn't this crazy running and crazy whatever. Yeah. And her caloric intake went up yeah. to like 2,200 calories a day, and she was leaner. And remember, she, it blew her mind so much, she became a personal trainer. Yeah, when you replace your, your body mass with more lean muscle, it, you get rid of the, the body fat. It, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just hard. It's a hard concept to, to digest. But I think there's this, this old sort of idea that uh, if you sweat, you're, you're burning fat. Like, there, there's this weird, like, root of it. I, I, like, I've talked to a lot of my clients that have this sort of mentality that if they're not sweating, like, you know, I'm not going to be shedding body fat. Yeah. So there's no way that this, this, can work and you have to like take your time to really explain like this whole process it's, it's definitely something that people like still have now there's a lot of science zealots that will say things like uh, you know two or three or four pounds of muscle won't burn that and i just talked about somebody who went from like 1600 calories to 2200 calories right she didn't gain 15 pounds of muscle she gained like five pounds which is a lot but it ain't going to make you bigger. Just made her feel more sculpted and tighter, all that. And they'll say something like, "Well, five pounds of muscle is not going to turn into that many more calories." You're wrong, and that's true. However, there's other stuff that's going on. Simply changing the signal, right. telling your body that you're consuming more and that you're building reduces calorie efficiency. Your body <laughs> learns to actually burn more calories through generating heat. It doesn't clamp down and become as efficient as possible. You can lose no muscle and slow your metabolism down. You can also not gain any muscle and speed your metabolism up by changing the signal. So it's not just pounds of muscle gained. It's also the signal that you're sending. It's not just that either. It's also that most people that that gravitate towards these types of uh, modalities, you know, high intensity, circuit-based, hit type of training, have been doing it for a long time. Very few of them are like, oh, I just started this and I hear right. it, on, so switch over. It's like, I've been training this way for years. Yeah. And if you've been training that way for so long, switching over to something so different like strength training is going to be such a loud signal, different from somebody who cycles through their types of modalities mm -hmm. every couple of months. But like the story you shared, Sal, that's what's most common for me is that these people that would hire me and I'd ask them how they train and, they, and then how long they've been training that way. Most of them have been training that way for well beyond six months. Years are all their life. They always grow gravitate to the, that way of training. 
So just simply changing that to such a different signal by strength training, that's enough to get the body to really move and change just by itself. Totally.